Hey guys, I'm Dov, and today I'm back with more Total War Warhammer 2 online action. Today we're back with the spooky, scary vampire count. It's going to be taking on the Empire, so let's get to the army compositions. Voldemort going to be leading the way for my forces here. He's got Spirit Leech, Invocation of Nehek, Dance Macabre, and Raise Dead, as well as Master of Black Arts, of course. I did forget to equip the Sword of Unholy Power, unfortunately, so we're not going to get quite as much Winds of Magic as we could have otherwise, but still. Front line of five zombies, backed up by three Skeleton Spears, we've got three Grave Guard with the Sternsman, of course, a Corpse Cart, and yes, indeed, two Black Coaches. Two Black Coaches, people. We're in for a fun time. We've also got two units of Blood Knights for some more Elite Killing Power, and that's pretty much it. The Empire forces are right against us. A very thematic Volkmar flagellant build here. Volkmar the Grim, of course, up on his chariot. Let's look at his abilities. He's got Banishment, Sol Grand Soulfire, Grand Shield of Faith, Grand Hammer of Sigmar, and the Jade Griffin, as well as Benediction. In terms of the rest of the army here, front line of Flagellants with the Tattersoul, Sigmar Sons as well, a single greatsword, two units of Demigrit Knights with Halberds. Uh, Bright Wizard with Fireball, Flaming Sword of Ruin, and Burning Head, and the Power Stone. We've also got two units of Outriders, and that's pretty much it. So without further ado, let's get the battle underway. You can see both of us going to be rolling towards each other, um, you know, just all across the board here. And yeah, Manfred, definitely one of the more competitive Lord choices for the Vampires, especially with the Sword of Unholy Power, which of course it did not bring here, but uh, if you do have that, you can get a ton of Winds of Magic with Manfred, put a lot of healing out with Invocation, and of course, plenty of Zombie Summons with Raised Dead, other goodies like that, so yeah, you can see I'm pulling my two uh, Black Coaches over to this side of the battlefield. My idea is if we can bait the Demigriff Knights in with them, then use the Blood Knights to kind of counter charge here. This will also keep us nice and far from these Outriders who are over on this side of the formation. You can see I'm kind of wheeling my formation around here. And uh, the Black Coach going to come in for a nice scything side charge here. Black Coach actually does really good impact damage. You can see those uh, Sigmar Suns also going for a ride. We're going to come around to the Great Swords in the back line as well. So fun stuff here. You can see Volkmar responding and the Demigriff Knights have taken the bait here. So... My idea was we're going to just bait them into the center pocket here and try and bog them down with tons and tons of unit models. You can see the corpse card sitting here. We're going to intercept with some skeleton spears. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit out of position with my Blood Knights and Manfred here. Um, and these Blood Knights landed home a nice rear charge on these uh, flagellants here. But uh, unfortunately, getting a little bit bogged down. My opponent doing a great job shooting at me with those Outriders there. Doing some good damage. Looks like a Banishment going to be going down on this pocket here. Potentially could do some friendly fire to the, those tatter souls, but doing some solid damage to those graveyard, moving right on down the line there. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, one of my black coaches is going to get uh, taken down here. Both of them are crumbling. We've dropped an invocation of the heck to try and keep them online, but uh, just haven't been able to punch through. And you can see finally some skelly bros pushing through the gap here. And the blood knights are lined up and in position. We're going to shoot the them through this gap here in just a moment as well. Here they come, getting a nice charge here. Unfortunately, not in time to save that black coach, but this one should be able to get out of here alive. Manfred, meanwhile, has moved around to the back line. We've got zombies moving around as well. Uh, he's going to move in here and start to cut up some of these flagellants. Corpse Cart is kind of chilling on station. My opponent's been popping off fireballs. I haven't caught him quite yet, but uh, he's been trying to pop that Corpse Cart continuously with fireballs there. Uh, very good stuff, of course. Volkmar does do fire damage himself, so uh, synergizing with that Bright Wizard, very strong, especially against a faction that's pretty weak to fire across the board like the Vampire Counts, but you can see the Black Coach did extricate itself, getting a nice charge into these uh, great swords here, but the Bright Wizard comes in, delivers a nice charging blow there, so unfortunately we are going to have to pull back, but some Skeleton Spears moving to zone out those, uh, those Outriders in the back. But the Blood Knights have come all the way around the formation, going to be getting a brutal rear charge against these Demigriff Knights here. Uh, just landing home a ton of good hits there with their massive 78 charge bonus. Of course, their anti-large bonus of 22. So yeah, these uh, these Demigriff Knights are just getting ground down at this point by this big blob. And that was kind of my intention here. Uh, the Vampires definitely favor a big blob fight like this more so than the Empire. And you 
Saw that fireball go down. My opponent's trying to finish off this corpse cart. It's just generating a ton of value right now, buffing up all these low tier troops and keeping the extra regeneration going. Manfred, of course, with his regeneration, you can see that the uh, Black Coach is just about at its healing cap there. A lot of these units in this pocket have just been grinding away flagellants and state troops this entire time. So let's grab some cinematics. This late game engagement here. Volkmar calling, da calling down some holy fire. Flaming Sword Ruin also going down on the few units that remain. There are some Demigriff Knights fighting here, but there's just so many unit models. And a very nice burning head by my opponent going down in this pocket as well. Just roasting out. Going to do quite well against the zombies in particular. But, uh, oh man, that just left like this burning path. <laughs> Such a cool spell, but uh, yeah, it's going to be too little too late, unfortunately, for the Empire at this point. The uh, Bright Wizard does get terrified away, and the Black Coach going to go in pursuit there. Uh, they want to grab him and stick him in the casket in the back, probably. But uh, anyway, another Banishment going down. Going to do a ton of damage to the Vampires in this blob, but again, just not quite enough. Volkmar and his Warrior Priest buddy on the back of the cart here. Going to do some okay damage, but... Um, yeah, Manfred's in here hacking away at them, and uh, very nice invocation of the heck going down, keeping the Blood Knights online who are finishing off the Demis. The Corpse Cart also still just chilling here, uh, despite my opponent's best efforts with like these Outriders and so forth, who have been more or less safe to just fire away the whole time. But, uh, you know, I've been trying to do my best to zone them out with cheap troops like zombies and spears and so on. But they have been getting pretty effective fire the whole time. It's just, uh, you know, we've been able to heal through it. Outriders don't have the best DPS in the world. They're not bad. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be victory for the vampires. Well played to my opponent. Hope you guys enjoyed watching that one. A fun build for my opponent. I do think that I uh, struggled a little bit there just in terms of sustainability. Flagellants will do great at cutting through the chaff. And you saw they were able to do that quite well. Unfortunately, the Blood Knights just really carrying the day, and the Grave Guard, of course, as well. Sternsman, absolute MVPs. I don't think they even lost a single unit model there, which goes to show how uh, poor AP values Flagellants have. But that being said, Flagellants, I mean, 77, 81 XP Chevrons here, 104, 144. I mean, they definitely did pretty decently. The Great Swords were a little bit of a rough pick, and the Outriders, unfortunately, just weren't quite able to get the work done that they needed to. Honestly, uh, you know, Outriders are decent here. I might even go and trade them out for Pistoliers just to cheap out a little bit and go a little bit wider. Even like some State Troop Spearmen to help support against uh, these uh, Blood Knights and so on would be very, very helpful. But uh, definitely a tough matchup for the Empire. I think one of the tougher matchups for the Empire, at least in my opinion, uh, just because the Vampire Counts are very, very good at shutting down ranged units, and, you know, the mobile ranged units for the Empire are pretty good as well, but uh, they can be shut down, or at least zoned out to be made combat ineffective. I mean, the Demogriff Knights did well, but they just got bogged down, and I think that was, uh, <clears throat> you know, a tactical mistake by my opponent if he had kept them out a little bit. And uh, the issue is he didn't really have that many tools to deal with the Black Coaches. He was able to take down the one, but after that one was down, probably would have been better to just pull back the Demigriff Knights, try and reform, and uh, see if he can get a favorable engagement on the Blood Knights, rather than them being able to kind of surround and grind you down like that. Uh, especially getting that nice rear charge with the Blood Knights was super backbreaking, but... Uh, uh, yeah, for the Empire, I mean, Volkmar is definitely a fun pick, and he's pretty good against the Vampires. Can definitely clear out a lot of chaff. Um, Arch Lecter is a bit of a cheaper option, but, uh, you know, in general, it's just kind of tough. Uh, tough matchup. I do like the pick of the Fire Wizard, though, um, you know, with the Fireball and everything. <clears throat> Super solid here. So Fireball, Cascading Fire Cloak I really like as well to buff up Demigriff Knights. Uh, Flaming Sword of Ruin, Burning Head, all of those are good. Now this is a pretty expensive spell loadout, so you may want to think about if you want to cut one of these, perhaps. But uh, yeah, Volkmar is pretty solid here. Um, going with a, an Air Lord can be pretty decent as well, although if you run into like Red Duke Terrorgeist, you can be in trouble that way. Uh, Arch Lecter is a cheap, uh, cheaper option. I mean, obviously you don't get the banishment, and he's not unbreakable like Volkmar, but he does give you op uh, access to some of the same buffs. So if you want to take like the uh, the leadership buff, especially if you're going with a more flagellant focus build, you probably don't need this so much. Uh, the miscast chance can be decent if you're nearby on the Vampire Lord, but um, uh, yeah, Grand Hammer of Sigmar here, Grand Shield of Faith, and Grand Soulfire, pretty solid and relatively cheap. Um, 
the uh, Royal Altar of Griffite is going to be pretty solid here as well. Their terror makes them immune to terror, so uh, that is useful in and of itself. Um, we're going to keep the two Demis here and maybe even grab a Warrior Priest. Um, we're going to get him on a horse and just take the Hammer of Sigmar and the Banner of Eternal Flame. And this guy is going to buff up the regular Demis and the Arch Lector is going to buff up the Royal Alt of Griffites. Then we're going to keep this Infantry Corps relatively intact. Uh, it's pretty nice and wide here. And uh, Reichsguard, honestly, really nice Swiss Army Knife type cab. Um, them, and we'll grab the Zintler's Reichsguard as well, although ooh, really close on cost. Um, to be able to get two Pistoliers, I would prefer to get two, and we're literally about three gold away, so I might come in here and try and look for something we can potentially cut out on. Uh, it's just so tough. Uh, that Grand Soul Fire in particular, if you're trying to protect against like a Fate of Yuna or a Spirit Leech Spam or something like that, um, definitely pretty solid. And we do want the Banner of Eternal Flame, so maybe we just come in and cut the spears off these guys. I mean, the extra melee defense is nice, but uh, do we really need it? And uh, yeah, this way we can uh, <clears throat> afford a little bit extra here. And wow, oh, man, we're still just three gold off. You know what? We're just going to cut the Zintler's Reichsguard and go with the regular Reichsguard and we'll still grab another Spearman uh, just to give us some extra numbers on the main line there. But uh, something like this I think would be pretty solid. The Reichsguard actually can do relatively well at... Uh, dealing with the black coaches because they have good mass they can at least surround the black coach and hold them down they don't have the best AP values in the world but they'll do a lot of damage on the charge and then they can kind of grind down the black coach to a degree so something like this I think would be pretty solid let me know your guys thoughts in the comments down below though yeah down below though hope you guys enjoyed watching if you do like this sort of content be sure to like subscribe hit that bell notification button so every time I upload a new video you'll be notified Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.